Hello, everyone. I mentioned it before. People seemed interested. We're going to play some Bloodborne. I said when I asked the question that the DLC would be blind, but the actual game is not. I finished Bloodborne before, but not the DLC. So I'll just repeat myself one more time, and we'll start the game. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. You guys will have to give me a second, I kind of dumb sixth can of Pepsi on my lap. I'm currently toweling off. Cool, let's just stream with Pepsi pants for a little bit then. How about that? That sounds good to me. Oh god, what do I name my character? Oh wait, uh, speaking of characters, whoa, before the stream started I went ahead and made this character. Origin will be professional. We're gonna do a skill build. I was gonna say dex, but skill. Cause I've never done one. Young, gender, female, entry complete, incomplete. Oh, what do we name our character? Any suggestions from the chat while I think of one? I didn't actually think about this before I started the stream, which was a mistake. Hmm. Let's go. Oh, I know. Alda. Why not? Let's say anyone's got a different thing they want to use right this second. Actually, no. Lorelei. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the same format I ended up using for the back half of Dark Souls 3 stream, which is I'm just going to keep it full screen until someone wants to talk, and then I'll turn on comments long enough to see it. Anyways, let's get moving. It'll load eventually. I promise. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad.
You found yourself a hunter. And well, that's spooking this out of the way. Let's just uh, be a phantom. Someone was already talking, which is weird because I have the stream chat open in my browser in my laptop. And I didn't see a message appear there, which is awkward. Let's go! Yeah, that did not show up in my thing. Okay, whatever. I'll just leave it on for a bit. Handwritten scrawl. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. See, that one is appearing in my stream chat. I don't know what the hell is up with that. But hey. Now I have been... I made another character and started a different playthrough to play with my friends because they just started playing Blood... One of them started playing Bloodborne again for the first... For the first time, not again. One of them started playing Bloodborne again, and then my co-worker who played Dark Souls 3 with me also is playing Bloodborne for the first time. So this character will be playing with him, and the other character is playing off-stream with the other two. One of my goals to myself, every single time I start a new character in Bloodborne, is to kill this thing barehanded. I never manage it. Let's see if I can do it on stream this time. Whoa! I don't have my gun yet. I need to... Aww. Come on. No! Why would you turn that? I will kill you without a weapon, I swear. One day. I just need to visceral you. If I can just visceral you, I'll be okay. That's not the weapon. That's not the attack I want. There you go. I got it. Legit like trying to kill him with pebbles. My fist is my only weapon that I need. <laughs> Fuhime, for people watching, is the person who's playing Bloodborne for the first time that I was telling you about. She doesn't understand the importance of visceral attacks yet. Game's great. I mean, that strat works, it's just visceral attacks are important. They do lots of damage. And there's a way to heal off of them later. Which is one of my favorite things. See, the problem is, I didn't die, so I don't have my weapons. Not to kill these guys without a weapon. Okay, I'm not about that life, actually. I'm invincible! Stop turning around. There we go. Jolly cooperation makes everything better. There's another dude around here too. Where is he? There you are. Oh. Kind of looked like you were getting up with your back to me. This is Bloodborne, so that's too easy. Gotta get the missile. I forget how visceral scale the karate chop until you die. I think 
Visceral attack skill blood tinge? Is that it? Whatever. We'll just do this the old fashioned way. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. Take that. Three damage at a time. Okay, legit do the whole game barehanded. I've seen people, like, finish an entire Souls game without rolling, healing, or blocking. It's possible. But I'm, uh, not going to do that. I need at least a gun. I'm not that good. What happens to the teleport? Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> This town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. <laughs> Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Deep within lies the old main cathedral, said to be the source of blood. I haven't heard of pale blood, but that's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. <coughs> Across the valley back and that's it. There's not a lot of outsiders in this game, but there are. Excuse me. Uh, us. No, you're not a hunter. You're legit running around with your fists. That's like saying I'm not a martial artist. I just punch people. Um, let's see. Can't remember how many souls you need to level up. Some pebbles. Oops, no, that one. Let's run around hoodless. Because we look cool. Gilbert's cool. This guy, not so cool. What? Away! 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 Usually they reserve that for people with torches. Damn it. I missed. Guess I'll just heal that bag. What? I hate you. I'll I'll go to the the dream soon. I just want a little bit more souls. Got him. Punch you till you get unshielded. Away! 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 Damn, stop turning around.
I think that's enough. It's probably not, but I'm just gonna say that so I can actually go get my weapons now. Is that Gilbert? Take some meds, bro. The hut area. In this run through, you didn't die, you just decided to take it. Yep, that's the lore, and I'm sticking to it. Did you guys hear that? Oh, it's the messengers. I never realized I made sounds before. Huh. Things you hear when you have headphones. An abandoned doll. Intriguing. Messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded in the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Uh, saw cleavers are kind of like go to. It's pretty good. Hunter's axe, also pretty good. It's uh, more of a strength weapon than this one is, I think. And then you got the thready cane, which is a skill weapon. And I don't recommend it. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Blunderbuss, can't go wrong. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. It's your, uh. Yeah, orange soapstone? Which one is that? I can't remember. Anyway, hello. Aha, uh -huh. you must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am Gammon, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the dog, should it please you. Calm down there, bro. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where you'll be. Oh, I never noticed there was a bunch of weapons up here. What do we got? Looks like we've got some saw cleavers. There's the the burial blade, which is that axe in the background. On the wall there. Cool. How many times have I beat Bloodborne? Uh twice, I think. I've started a few playthroughs that never finished, but at least once. Can't remember. This headstone will allow us to do the DLC once I have it unlocked. You have to progress a bit in the main story to get there, though. And back here... Where's that stump? This stump appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. Oh. I can give my messengers sick hats here. Yeah, the messengers being those weird little white dudes that appear out of the ground. 
Uh, like this guy. He's a messenger. Look at him, he isn't he cute? Trade and block blood echoes and messengers to buy and sell items. Blood echoes are basically souls. We can get some blood vials, quicksilver bullets, small dove cocktail, pebbles. Some armor. Ah, damn it. I don't have anything to sell, do I? I could sell my hood, but I'm not going to. Oh well. I'm actually. Let's buy some Molotov cocktails. Wanted to get some armor, but we'll get some armor soon enough. Alright. Oh, before I forget, we should actually equip the weapons we have. Oh, and let's actually let's look up the lore for our items, too. Since we're here. I'll look up the lore for the weapons once we have more of them unlocked. Special blood used administration. Once a patient has had their blood administered a unique uh, a unique but common treatment in Yarnum, successive infusions to recall the first and are all, all the more invigorating for it. No surprise that most Yarnumites are heavy users of blood. Ordinary bolts have no effect on beasts, and so Quicksilver bolts fused with the wielder's own blood must be employed. The strength of Quicksilver bolts depends greatly upon the wielder's blood dinge. One of the oldest hunter tools available in the workshop. Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnum, fires become a staple in beast hunts, and it's thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. And my favorite, the pebble. Small pebbles found throughout Yarnum can be thrown at foes. Quite thrilling. And if you look at it, it doesn't really look like a pebble. Oh, and I guess there's the hunter here. Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church, once recruited Yarnamites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense, but not nearly enough to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. And it's the same all through. Okay. What about our own gear? Clothing worn upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beasts. Not typical clothing for Yarnum, perhaps it is of foreign origin. It is said, after all, the traveler came to Yarnum from afar. Without memory, who will ever know? Bandage war upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beast. Terribly worn and unsanitary. Faint memory recalls blood ministration, invoking the transfusion of unknown blood. Not long after, the nightmare began. Uh, well, I guess we can just look at the thread cane. One of the trick weapons at the workshop, commonly used by hunters on their duties. Sufficiently deadly as a rigid bladed cane, but also serves as a whip when its blade is split into many. Concealing the weapon inside the cane and flogging the beast with the whip is partly an act of ceremony and an attempt to demonstrate for oneself the bloodlust the hunt will never encroach upon the soul. Hunter firearms are specially crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fuse the wielder's own blood, boosting damage against beasts. The impact of this highly effective weapon counters beasts with movements and its widespread is nigh on guaranteed to hit the mark. You don't have to aim with this one, baby. Alright, enough of that. Hmm, actually, I should have went to the other one. I want to see something. Whatever, we can just walk there and kill a couple dudes along the way. Go ahead and kill a couple beasts. I'm going to turn comments off now. Seems like our viewer has settled down a bit. Bloody hell, we're still not out at this load screen. There we are. You can point enough and it'll happen. Alright, so the way Bloodborne works in this game is you, you ain't got a shield. But you do have a weapon that transforms, which takes the place... Oh my god, you commented. Uh, she said, still triggered as star, star, star. So you got your R1 which is your weak attack, your R2, which is your strong attack, you can charge it. And to get a backstab in this game, you have to charge that and hit them in the back before you can do it. And the L1 transforms a weapon. And then it's weak attack and strong attack. And then you can transform mid combo with L1 again. Some weapons turn into two-handed when you transform them, and then you lose access to your gun, but you get an extra button for hitting dudes with. 
I'm not so good with the thread cane. But we'll get used to it. Burn in hell! And these Molotov cocktails I failed to pick up. But now we have an even 10, and that makes me happy. The transforming animations in this game are so good. Uh. 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 Thankfully, this guy doesn't respawn. Are you... out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Now, go. And good hunting. Are you still in need of something? But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. You know, I kind of look like Harry Potter. Are you st uh, she'll give you a Yosefka blood vial. You can keep getting them from her. I think if you get enough, something happens, but I can't remember. Blood vial acquired from Yosefka's clinic. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restores a larger amount of HP. Product of a slow and careful refinement process. This rare blood vial appears to be a clinic original. Thank you. So you can only have one of those at a time, but if you use it, you can come back and get another one. Also, if you're familiar with the Souls games, but not this one, uh, there are no bonfires such as they appear in Souls. There's obviously still the lamps, but you can't rest at them to regain your HP. You actually have to go back to the Hunter's Dream. Anywho. Let's actually do stuff. A lot of guys down there. Calm down. You! Do my taxes. This will be interesting. I hate the threat again, really. Actually, I like it. Good for crowd control, though. Oh, he died easy. Got poked with a stick and just fell over dead. Ah. Now, there's no shields in this game, but guns effectively take the place of parrying. So you can repose pretty easy. It's relatively specific. Worst case, you still get smoked. Uh, somewhat okay case, you stagger them and interrupt their attack. And best case, you parry them. So, you know, jam on that gun. It does take a quick silver bullet, though, but you can, if you press up on the D-pad, you can sap some blood and make more bullets. And you notice I healed when I, uh, visceraled that guy because when you get hit in this game you, you get some orange HP that represents how much you lost and then you can if you start attacking dudes and hitting them before that red HP or orange HP drains then you can replenish it Open up Are you that outsider well sorry but I don't want anything to do with you 
Trot along, will ya? I hate you. Ah. Oh, didn't lock on. I'm trying to lock on there, but it just centered my camera. That's awkward. How about you? That's your come on. You'd open the door in a night of hunt. Away with you. Now. I hate you too. I hope you died. <laughs> Try to be cool. Why can't you guys let me be cool? When I first put this game in after uh, finishing Dark Souls 3, I thought it felt really weird. Just, whoa! It feels so different compared to Dark Souls. It doesn't look like it, but it does. So glad I got that opportunity to warm back up. And then I immediately steamrolled through the first uh, three bosses, so watch me have a ton of trouble and now they're on stream. Can't tell if they're actually behind me or Nope. Nope. Yeah. Oh, he died. Okay. Uh, little known fact, you can actually restore missing HP off of dying dudes. And we can't get this yet. Oh well. Also, unlike souls, uh, your blood vials don't restore at lamps. You have to pick them up. Kind of like that. You can carry like you can carry 20 on you normally, and you up to 600. In fact. How much you have in storage? will determine whether or not you can refill your blood vials on death or teleport. Uh oh. No way. That didn't just happen. How come he missed all those attacks and then just decided he wanted to hit me that time? The other, like, three shots were warning shots, man. He's the first one going to die. Uh, if you have the axe, you can do a Triship R2 and hit him off of that, which is pretty funny. Which is what I was going to attempt to do with my cane. I was wondering if cane mode would be able to hit him, but... Looks like people are chatting again. Eh... Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Uh, we're just gonna leave it on for a bit. I don't feel like continuing to stick around in that menu. Always serves the hotkey, just turn it on and off, but maybe in a future update. I'm actually probably gonna want to kill those guys that are behind me, but I'm not gonna worry about it. See, I restored HP off him even though he was dead. Whoa! 
Oh, right, this game. Rolling is done by running and then tapping run again. Unlike Dark Souls 2 forward, which had you press uh, L3 when you're running to jump. You can get counter hit out of your jump too, which is a problem when you're trying to like sprint some past something in a roll. I swear to god, I'm good at this game. We're just gonna kill them now. And stop messing around, you know? I wish I could jump attack. At least I can make you burn. If you suspect uh, a dude is gonna drop a health vial, you may as well just heal up before you use it, before you uh, loot him, because otherwise it'll go to your storage and you won't have it when you heal. And you won't have your maximum amount. Okay, new strat. Oh, can you not charge this? Oh, look at that. Huh. I didn't know that. Whoa! I don't know why I did a running or a jump attack. We're gonna have to play with these guys. Nope. All right, better. And now uh, I grab this item that I forgot to pick up. More bullets. Bullets are always nice. I don't have a trillion billion yet. All right. I'm tired of you, gun boy. You can actually kind of aim your attacks if you're not locked on by changing which way your camera is facing. Wow, the sniper of the sentry. Yeah. You're the asshole, my blood echoes. 
Uh, in this game, if you die near an enemy, they have... I don't know if it's always, but there's at least a chance of them picking up your echoes and you have to uh, kill them to get it back. It counts like a normal blood stain, though, so if you die after or before you get it from those guys, then you lose them forever. Okay, so we could go through that horrible courtyard, but I don't really want to. I don't reckon you're from around here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> Shut up. Bad dog. Uh Don't let those dogs live. They can and will get out of their kennels. Where's the other dogs? I thought I killed all of you. Oh, it's you. Goodbye, dog. Do you know of any safe place? I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you wanted to stop your asses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what the best? Are you going to tell me you're not? Okay. I'm telling you if I find any safe places. Now, I don't really want to go in this chapel yet. But I am going to go over here and grab some stuff. Do that. Oops, Daisy. Knock that down. Knock that one down. And go talk to Eileen. Hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Oh, thank you. Some nice uh, gold medallions. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now still lingering about what's wrong a hunter unnerved by a few beasts <laughs> no matter without fear in our hearts we're little different from the beasts themselves What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. If you say so. You like my uh, cool barrel shield that I have on my waist? But we just uh, get rid of that. Let's do 
Change this one to Chicago Cape. Get out of here, you plank. Okay, now I want to get back to where I was, which means I have to go down the stairs, which means I have to fight the scary monster that's somewhere around here. Or maybe I don't. Later, nerd. Fall damage isn't nearly as big a problem. Oh, hi. I guess I did have to fight the big scary monster. Uh, but I don't want to go that way yet. And fall damage isn't nearly the biggest problem as in Dark Souls 2 or 3. It's still a problem, don't get me wrong. If you fall from a really far height, you're gonna die, but not that bad. Let's grab this. Our main objective is over that way, towards that tower. But for now, I need to unlock a shortcut or two. There's that guy. Let's fight him, actually. May as well get the echoes. Oh, yeah, baby lugs. Ow! Didn't need to heal, but I'm gonna do it just in case. Blood vials, and they're gonna drop a bunch of blood vials. This is a good place to farm them if you need some extra ones. They, I think they always drop two, or just a lot of the time. This is that side, so I don't want to go up here yet. Just uh, traveling along. This is where we want to go. This is our first shortcut. Yarnum is a very compact city. Lots of twists and turns, but it's not too bad once you get used to it. Blood vials. Oh, let's pick up this thing. Oh god, he's not dead. Hold the trick to Okay. Uh, pick this up. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the Great Bridge Cathedral Ward as old Yarna burned to the ground that moonlit night. Some lore notes. And we got some more dudes up here, because of course we do. Man, I've been in this house so many times when I first started. Oh god, I have the gas in there. Uh, when I first started playing this game, I died so many times and came to this house so. Many times. We're gonna want to go that way after we go to our objective. Hopefully, I haven't seen me. No, we're good. As long as we keep walking, we'll be good. Because that way has some stuff for us. Time for the affectionately called glad garbage bags. Ow. You, you, and yet you forgot about the wheelchair guy. No, I was doing that for dramatic effect. Come on. I know wheelchair guy. Is good. All right, so I can kill the first boss without leveling, but not the second one. So let's see if I can prove that. Hello, Cleric Beast. Glad Garbage Bags and Brick Brick Guy, yes. We have pet names for our enemies now. Uh-oh. I 
Nice of you to let me get up, though. I don't start off with the threat of cane much, so I'm accustomed to doing more damage for swing, but it's just something I have to deal with. I think you can parry uh, the Cleric Beast, but I can't remember, and I'm not about to die finding out. harder when you do barely any damage for a swing. Stuck in a corner with you. Ah, visceral. Get the fuck out of here. This is a lot easier when you have a saw cleave or an axe. Trust me on this one. But if you're new to Bloodborne, that's why I don't tell you, or I tell you not to start with a threaded cane, because you're just going to get fucked by that guy a lot. Now this door will never, ever, ever open, or this gate, but you can see this door from the other side. Oh yeah, you get covered in blood a lot in this game. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, look at that. I'm like a bloody, magic, gothic Harry Potter. And gender bent. Anyway. Good thing I brought those Molotov cocktails, huh? Feels good. Also, you notice in our in the top right of the screen, I keep moving the camera so you can see it, but it's not actually going to happen. Uh, there's our echoes below that. It's an eyeball uh, icon. And it says four. That's our insight. Okay, shut up, specters. Uh, we get one insight for seeing a boss, just seeing it, and then three for killing it. Then you get some insight for finding a new area, I think. But because we have insight. The doll is alive. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. And I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Ah, the little ones. 
inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? Ah. So. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I never fully understood what is actually happening in Bloodborne. Yeah, don't worry. No one really does. Uh, I am literally a god because they are worshipping me as their god. Give me that. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the oper cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Silencing blank and such forms of cooperation. This would be our way of summoning other people for jolly cooperation. Consume insight and ring the old hunter bell to enlist cooperation of old hunters. Uh, that's for summoning NPC hunters. And that's new with the update that came with the expansion, I believe. But there's a couple things I want to mention before we level up and do stuff. Uh, first of all, doll. She is a doll. She's not magically a person. I don't have the binocular thing yet, so I can't really show you. But she is a doll. You can, like, look at her hands and her face, and she's got, like, artificial parts bonded together. But weirdly enough, she has real-ass eyeballs. If you can clip your camera through her head, you can see that she has real eyeballs. It's weird. Uh, you can kill her, and she'll just hang out. And I believe she has the same voice actor as uh, the Maiden in Black from Demon Souls. But the other thing is you kind of just have to accept this as a reality of this world, is that dreams in Bloodborne are real places. Not physical places, necessarily, but they're places. There's not like a body of me in the real world while I sleep. I am actually here in this metaphysical world. But it is a dream. Someone is sleeping and dreaming this world. It's a little weird and hard to understand, but yeah, just you just have to accept that. Welcome home. What is it you desire? If you time your dialogue, or Farewell, let me try it. Good. May you... Welcome. What is it you desire? <laughs> if you time your ex prompt right perfectly. It kind of sounds like she says, well, what is it? Which is a Dark Souls 1 thing. Anyways. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Uh, the doll lets us level up. And I can't really show it, but my eyes never close, even though she asks me to. Fuck the doll. Uh, yeah, well, Garman's implying that's what you should do. I did only need 830 to level up. See, I was right, man. Uh, let's get some vitality. Actually, let's put a couple of points in vitality. And then skill. Let me actually... There's a certain weapon I want to try out for my final build for this character. It's a DLC weapon, so we won't get it for a while, but I just want to check out how it scales, because I cannot recall. Alright, so I'm going to need at least one of these, and then, yeah. It's going to scale only with skill, as far as I care. But I do need 10 strength. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Doll is pretty, I agree. I've seen some people cosplay as the doll. Uh, the doll is also, her looks are based upon a person in the game. Maybe we'll meet them, maybe we won't. I have some echoes left over, so... Can I buy anything? That badge we got off of... Let me get the lore for it. That badge we got off of the Cleric Beast lets us buy new stuff from the shop. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The Silver Sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many ch Healing Church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. So that cleric beast we killed was a hunter at some point. One of the resonating bells that crossed the gaps of worlds. This bell is cracked and stained with the blood of beasts. 
A human must expend insight to bring this uncanny bill. Yes, insight is not quite like humanity. It is kind of like more of a money source than anything else. The old hunters who have long passed from the dream but cannot fo forget the feeling of the hunt rel rely upon messengers to relay their thoughts. Bring the bell at their side, and they are certain to give a listen. For the night of the hunt is long and unchanging. What are you guys going on about? Where's my lore on my beckoning bell? There it is. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds across the gap and cooperate. A human must use insight to ring this uncanny bell, but the benefits of cross-world cooperation are many. Hunters are linked by the resonance of bells with special encoded timbers. This inaudible burst uh, disrupts such resonance. Fire and this does not disrupt the resonance of a sinister bell, so if you get invaded, you can't just say, Peace! Damning upside down rune etched in one's mind, symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes, but always awakens afresh, as if we're all just a bad dream. Messengers are inhabitants of the dream who revere the brave hunters. Use them to send messages to other worlds. Yeah, what else have we got in here? Uh, da, da, da. Mature blood cocktail that releases a pungent odor when thrown that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool in sadly short supply. In Yarnum, they produce more blood than alcohol, as the former is more intoxicating. Dangling upside down, ruined etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. Allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes, a trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence. Indeed, gratitude for their victims. Who truly has the problems, the viewer or the artist? Both. Solid shard, shard that forms in cold blood. After death, a substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called a bloodstone. Lots of lore. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? There's a hand lantern. Small portable lantern. This hunting accessory provides light while leaving both hands free to hold weapons. The torch, however, provides a stronger source of light. Uh, don't ever wear this. It actually... It's not a thing you equip in your inventory, but it actually makes your stamina uh, charge slower if you have it equipped. It's not worth it. I'm gonna want this. The Hunter Chief Emblem. Actually, I don't really need it. Cloth emblem that belonged to the captain of the church hunters long ago. Opens the main gate that leads to the round plaza of the Greek Cathedral. The main gate is shut tight on Knights of the Hunt, and could only be opened from the other side with this emblem. In other words, the captain's return, and this emblem determined the rest of the hunt. Kirkhammer! A trick weapon, typically used by the healing church hunters. On the one side, an easily handled silver sword. On the other, a giant of two stone weapon, characterized by a blunt strike and extreme force of impact. The church takes a heavy-handed, merciless stance toward the plague of beasts, an irony not just upon the wielders of this most symbolic weapon. Not lost upon them. Whoops. Repeating pistol. Repeating pistol typically used by the healing church hunters. Crafted with mostly metal parts and exhibiting a complex design, the repeating pistol fires two shots at once, making a ravenous consumer of quicksilver bullets. Should be used sparingly compared to its workshop counterpart as the trump card in one's arsenal. This is more for damage than parrying, but it will also parry. And we got our yarn of stuff that we can actually buy one of now. I'll buy this. Ooh, and I can buy... Let's buy the trousers. As much as I like my starting gear, I want something with just a little better stats. There we go. We look like a real-ass hunter now. Where'd you go, Garman? Uh, he's probably off hanging out in the back. He does that sometimes. But here we can upgrade our weapons using bloodstones. I don't have the souls required. I'm going to have to pop one of those things. Uh, there we go. Get a nice plus one. What back? Oh, you mean... I mean, over here, where the back is. 
He hangs out back here sometimes. Wherever he is. Oh, no. Looks like he's not here this time. But he's in the back room. Did I just miss him? Am I blind? No messengers here yet. I thought I... I thought he wasn't here. Yeah, he's not here. What the hell are you talking about? Buy with insight. You can uh, buy stuff here, like this small resonant bell. Small bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter uses a special signal to call hunters. Blah, 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 blah. Use it to go help people instead of get help. Uh, there's nothing else in the shop yet. It used to be that you needed at least 10 insight for this shop to be even active when you load into the hunter's dream, but now I guess you just need insight. <laughs> Jolly little hat. And yeah, may as well pop one of these. And get some gloves to finish our outfit. Yay, I'm a hunter now. Yeah, I don't know where Gamma went. You just kinda disappear sometimes. Anywho. Okay. Time to fight some glad garbage bags brick brick guy again. Also in case the answer or the question strikes you, yes, Claire Beast is technically optional. And stay down. I still like that the Shake Off Cape actually has a wind effect on it. <laughs> you can use this near other hunters and blow their cape too. Okay. Oops. One thing I really like about Bloodborne more than Dark Souls is the movesets of every weapon is very diverse. R2 is usually just the R2, but rolling and back steps have different attacks from just regular standing and all that sort of thing. Oh, that's what you were doing. What? Die! I really don't do damage to you, huh? Get whipped, son! Cape flap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Burn! Not too much damage. I'm just gonna re need to rely on parrying, I guess. That's why I don't do skill builds a lot, because I'm not quite consistent with parrying. Glad garbage bags around here, I can't remember. It's back here, I thought there was an item. Ah yeah, here it is. What's on charred? I love that animation. Ding. 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 Give me that. And continuing more secrets. Do change the whips excite you? Maybe. Pebbles. Anyway, we're gonna go down our secret hole.
Y'all need to calm down. Let's see if I can't backstab this guy. Nope. Whoa, can't even touch him apparently. Pairing didn't work, so our went spam will have to do. You can have your own stream if you just push the share play button. Get down there. Oh, you didn't die. Awkward. Competing Bloodborne streams. It's a rat. He's no longer a rat. Are there dudes down here or is it just the rats? Man, I hate rats, especially when you can't block. Which way has the items I want? I think it's this way. I want to see you freak out all the time. Come on. Whoops, nope. Thank you. It's nice to give you enough time to dash up and still do the visceral if you get hit. Ah, hunter stuff. Better than this hunter stuff I have. But I wanted to buy the other stuff just because. Also, it just looks cooler. Slightly less thrust defense, but oh well. I mean, look at that coat. You can't go wrong. I think this looks slightly different from the male version. I can't remember. Ah. Rats terrify me. I don't want the poison. Alright, not too bad. I don't think it's these sewers, but if you hang out long enough, you can get yourself covered in sewer mud. I think that's somewhere else, though. Anyways. I missed the ledge. You can't fool me with your lies. I don't recover as much HP per hit as I do with my axe and so I'm trying to do the HP recovery AOE hitting multiple dudes at once. Probably could have just gave him the old Kane version, but hey. I remember being super excited for the Threaded cane when this game first came out, I'd be like, oh man, this thing is so cool, I'm gonna use it, it's gonna be the best, and then I hated it. That's mostly because I got wrecked. Riggedy wrecked. That's where we want to go, I think, so I'm gonna keep exploring over here. Where's the enemy? I heard you, don't lie to me. Guess we gotta go up this ladder. No uh help. -huh. And this is where we were before. Oh, hey. Nope. Nope.
not about that life. Hashtag bad spot. At least I got all my vials back. You! I think you can snipe me. See if there's any more dudes hanging around that I want to murder. Oh. That awkward feel when your gun just misses. for the blood vial. Demon chickens? No, they're glad garbage bags. Let's go this way. It'll be easier. Make sure you die. All the dogs? No, there's that one still. I'm just gonna try and sit mostly full HP just in case. These corpses stay on the ground, right? Yes, they do. And I fell through the window like an idiot. Okay, who is my blood echoes? Someone here is my blood echoes. It's not you. You do. Give him back. Where's the gun, man? Gun man is gone. Now let's get these items. Oh, which side is the one I want? I think it's that one over there, but I'm still gonna jump down here. So I think this one is a bloodstone. Sauce for your own, what's wrong? Uh, sauce spear. One of the trick weapons of the workshop, commonly used by those who dedicate themselves to the hunt. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a medium range spear. The saw, with its set of bloodletting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. 
So it's a six spear. Kind of works like the sock lever, if you're familiar with that weapon. But if you transform it, it's uh, got some sweeping attacks and a thrust. We'll rock this for a bit. It's good against the beasts. I'm a bit more familiar with its moveset, and it's going to do a little bit more damage, I think. Just make it a little bit easier on me for now until I get a bit more dex. A single throwing knife. How helpful. I still need to go get that other item. I have to find a ladder. Hey, a ladder. How convenient. People need to calm down. Give me my item. No, oh, give me my HP back. I hate you. The rat had more throwing knives on him than that dead body did. I think I'm cool to just keep on moving. I am, right? I can go up here now. Or do I have to keep progressing? I can never remember! Uh, I think I'm cool to go up. Is that where I want to go? I'll just go up here and see what is up here. Makes sense, right? There's that dude where the hunter set was. I think I want to go that way, actually. Ah. We can stop here, though. There's a thing we can get. This is a job for the break. Yeah. Gotta take out the trash. Now we have a job for the spear. Aw, oh, he heard me. I didn't do the emote. Damn it. See, and you, I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And this is where you look for my mom. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him, but now she's gone too. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. My mum wears it so big. Oh, and if you think. Heavy stuff, kid. That thing is going to be useful in a completely different way than you think. Can I play it right now? Hmm. Uh, let's check the lore on it. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. Plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the list is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. Ah, uh, Gascoigne. On the other side of this gate is where that courtyard is that I never went down. It has the drop towards where the dogs are. But there's a couple items we can get, so may as well check it out. Come on, doggies. Damn it.
Yeah, man. Don't make me come to you. God damn, he died easy. Yeah. And some blood vials. A lot of them, actually. Handy. Up here is the bridge. Yeah. And over here is an item for us. Cold blood dew. Not particularly amazing, but hey, it's money. I don't know if there's anything down here. I think there is. Oh, hi! Wondering where you were. Bye, friend. Shiny coins. Old ladies are still laughing. <laughs> Some odd off cocktails and a torch. According to my friend, the best weapon in the game. Well, by best weapon, he actually means the hunter's torch, but he's also an idiot who scales arcane up before any actual damage stats. When he doesn't have a weapon that can scale with arcane. Uh, I should equip those. And oil urns. Because I can look at the lore. When this urn hits this mark, the target is rinsed in oil made extremely flammable. Fire is commonplace on the hunt, and oil urns accentuate his effect. Sometimes when hunters burn bees, they appear intoxicated by the euphoria of purification. Anything else? Coins. Various coins are particularly luminous. There are very few uses for spare change during the hunt, but these will serve as guides through the darkness. Or what can save them until morning, if it ever comes. We. I'll leave you guys alone this time. Consider it mercy. Ow, ow, ow. Something back here? I can't remember. What is that? It's the top of a barrel. What the hell is that there for? Mermaid rejects. Uh, they, they tried. They tried real hard. And failed. Stamina, please. Give me my HP back. Sadly, the sauce spear scales with strength, so it won't be amazingly useful to us. For now, it is, though. I should note you can't parry with the torch, so if you want to have the torch equipped, you got to pick between the plate. You gotta pick between light or parrying. Now, keep a close watch, Kuhi Mei. This is how you kill the Pretty 
simple. Saw Hunter Badge, Blood Vials. Cold Blood Dew. And don't go all the way, it's just a drop into the abyss. Don't fall for it. Uh, it's a shortcut up here, I think. Yeah, 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 but my way is easier. I didn't look at the lore of the saw hunter badge. Badge crafted long ago at the workshop. Test to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. The workshop is gone, and no group recognizes this meaningless badge, except the messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Certain things can only be entrusted with a hunter in possession of this badge, or so they believe. Are they talking to each other? Can't make out what they're saying. Anyway, it's a shortcut to get behind these guys because this dude kills those guys. Rip them. I'm sure you noticed the other ladder. I'm now still in the sewers. That would take you up over on that side of the bridge, and ain't nobody got time for that. Wow, how did you live? You didn't even get hit, what the hell? I'll rectify that. So yeah, that opens up down there. Which is just before the pig. But there's a shortcut for us. And I want to go back and level up. Oh yeah, see, I'm covered in uh, mock. I think that's big anus. That guy has a will of steel, man. Never gives up. Row, row, fight the power. This game's easy! All you gotta do is parry everything. I don't understand what's so hard. Did I ever open, did open up the gate? No, I didn't. Rip. That was the whole point of me coming over here and opening up that house. So I could open up this gate. Whoops. Well, it's open now. How are you, Gilbert? Yes, I see. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the Cathedral Ward. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could try the aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, colorful area south of the Great Bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads to the Cathedral Ward. <coughs> Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but I don't imagine you have much of a choice, do you? <coughs> An aqueduct leads from the town south of the main bridge to the cathedral ward. Not a place, not much of a choice. I guess you're not going to give me the thing yet. We'll get it. I think it's after you kill the next boss. Let us level up. Very well. Let the echoes become let me. Okay. Want more HP. I think I'm okay for damage for now. I'm not really, but I'm gonna say that. And we'll do one more in endurance. <laughs> What you got? Antidote. Small medicinal tablets that counteract poison. Used to treat ash and blood. The baffling sickness that ravaged old Yarnum long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The ash and blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. Oh, throwing knives. 
Throwing knife with a finely serrated blade, one of the old hunter Henrik's favorite weapons. It does not cause a great deal of damage to bees, but with deft use can distract attackers and keep them at bay. Oh, we can buy the other weapons now with our saw hunter badge. Saw cleaver. One of the trick weapons of the workshop, commonly used in the hunting business. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of bees, transforms into a long cleaver that makes use of its centrifugal force. The saw, with its set of blood-letting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. Saw spear, hunter axe, one of my favorite weapons. One of the trick weapons of the workshop, commonly used on the hunt. Retains the qualities of an axe, but offers a wider palette of attacks by transforming. Boasts a heavy blunt attack, leading to a or leading to a high rally potential. No matter their past, the beasts are no more than beasts. Some choose this axe to play the part of executioner. Threaded cane. Did I ever actually look at the lore on this? I did, right? Yeah. Anchor hammer. Hunter pistol. Pistol made at the workshop for a hunter stalking beast. Hunter firearms are specifically crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fused to wield his own blood, boosting damage against beasts. The pistol is a uh, quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing for a speed speedier responses to attacks. Jeez. And nothing else for us. They allow me to check out the inside shop, though. Anything new here? Not yet. Will be soon, though. You around, Garman? No, he's still hanging out. What does this say? I forgot. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts. Let the night care, lest the night carry on forever. It's kind of telling us our objective. Workshop tool required for this task is missing. Yeah, we'll get it soon enough. Fortify. What actually scares them to D with decks? Look at that. It might actually be useful to us. Hmm. 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 May as well just keep upgrading this dumbass thing. So wait, what, how many do I need? I need five more bloodstone shards. I think I can buy those from the insight shop. No, down here. I know I can buy them. Not yet. Oh well. Uh, I could probably level up if I pop these, huh? It's not quite enough for two levels, I don't think, but... No, I'm short by 600. Damn it all. Ah, 15 vitality would be fine. And let's go buy some stuff. Cleaver. Don't really need it. Don't really need any of these. I'll just not lose the souls. It'll be fine. Okay, uh, Central Yarnum. Let us advance. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this next fight we have coming. Because the way I've always done it, I have damage and stagger potential. None of these I really have with a threaded cane. And I want to attempt to use a threaded cane on this fight, anyway. You keep on hanging out there, Gilbert. Stingy bastard didn't drop anything. Alright, losers. Stay calm and parry. Don't mind me just dying over here. You'll be fine, Gilbert. No, I don't think I will. Just shut up and take your meds. 
Now rest in peace us. We actually have to deal with the horrible ball of death this time. But, if we're lucky, and they actually light the damn thing. There we go. And that should take care of most of our problems. Why are you alive? Out with your friends. Keep taking your meds. Oh, I don't want to eat my friends. Dead blood ashes. Do it. What the? Why didn't I get that? I buried him. Where was my visceral? I hate this game. Maybe it's because I was on a slant. I hate you. I really, really, really do. Probably should have popped one vial before I picked that up. Oh well. Here we go. Is that body you know who? No. Now it was just some beast. You could see it. He, the beast showed up in the corner of the screen for a minute, you blind bastard. Now you know who is this body. Hi! Red the brooch is uh what the girls spawn for. And, uh, this would be her dad. Sorry, lady. Damn it. Oh, we actually can stay in here. Look at that. Pistols at high noon! That's the hunter's axe that I like using, by the way. I hate parrying this thing. Oh, I got it. Transform already. Play the music box. There it is. Goodbye, Gascoin. You kicked the ever-loving shit out of me when I first started this game. Okay, so Gascoin was the little girl's dad, and that girl with the red brooch was her mom. And now they're both dead. Yeah. This is awkward. Uh, the music box, if you play it when he turns into a beast, he 
gets reminded of his family because that's what the music box does. The girl told you that, and then you can get some free hits on him. A woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter. Use the change into a drop of blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. Well, we can give the girl the bad news, or we could not. Right about that Eden tomb key. Key to the gate that blocks the tomb of Eden. Once beyond the tomb, Eden Chapel can be found in the center of the cathedral ward. Only today the church is abandoned. Some say that the residents of Eden have all gone mad. Eden? Uden? I don't know how to pronounce that. We will go talk to the little girl before we end the stream, which I will be doing shortly. But first I want to go up here. Because of the Blood Gem Workshop Tool, which will allow us to upgrade our weapons even more specially. Cathedral Ward. Hi. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell him to come on over, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> you seem reasonably stable. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell them about this here Erden Chapel, if they seem work being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be if oh. You seem totally on the level. Anyways, uh, there's a lamp here. He's kind of like Alphys from Undertale. Just socially awkward. Uh, but that reminds me. The translation company for this game, or localization company for this game, is based out of the UK. And they use UK voice actors and all that. I like that also because they use uh, some UK regional dialect stuff, like Garmin said all over the shop. That's kind of, it's a Scottish euphemism, I think. Kind of means just like all over, you know. Obviously you can imagine that, but still I just like the touch. Welcome. What? Very well. Let's see. Damage is nice. So is endurance. Ow. What else we got? Anything new? Not really. Cool. Thank you. I need 10,000 echoes. I keep forgetting about that. I want that 
seal. And we can get Gascoigne set. Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne. Similar to Hunter Guard created at the workshop, only these are tainted by a pungent, blood, beastly stench that eats away a Gascoigne. Father is the title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there's no such rank in the healing church. The dingy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascoigne would eventually part ways. So Gascoigne is either a foreigner or just not a native Yarnamite. Or, uh, yeah, he's kind of a foreigner. But I like his gear, so we're going to wear it. Don't I just look dapper? Hmm, quite. Expelliarmus. Hey, Garman. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true. One of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the holy a town of peace. Uh, he's talking about Old Yarnum, which is where we're going to be going next time. So I do a couple of things, and then we're going to end the stream, though. So if we have any blood gems, which we don't currently, you can uh, put them in your uh, weapons here and give them s more specific stats. I still don't have enough bloodstone shards. God damn it. Oh well. We'll be getting a blood gem shortly. For now, we're going to go to Central Yarnum and pick up a couple things. We need to talk to Gilbert, the lady, or the, not the lady, the girl, and. One more thing? I can't remember. Gilbert, lady. I feel like there's a third thing, but I can't remember what it is now. Oh, yes, we need to talk to old Granny. Tell her this is a nice, safe place in Eden, Uden Chapel. Uden? Eden? Uden? Some vowel. It's getting darker. Night is coming. Concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this, I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Ah, uh, don't you worry about me. Ah, uh, you, you stay there, Gilbert. Don't die. Uh, you can tell. There's incense coming off this lamp. That's the same in incense in Uden Chapel. Uh, it wards off beasts. That's how you can tell if someone is talk 
doable or not in this game. Uh, but Flame Sprayer. A special weapon used by certain members of the Healing Church. Spits searing flames used by a, by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Besides, the beast of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. But a lot of people come to Yarnum to get healed by the blood. And for some reason it has healing powers. It's kind of accepted that the or one of the accepted theories is that the main character came to Yarnum in order to receive blood healing. I don't know if we get that. Damn it. But no one knows for sure, obviously. Souls game. I hate fighting both these guys at once. I can't see what is happening. Get me. Go to hell. Still net positive on them blood vials, though. Uh. Probably quicker actually to go this way. Because we can get the granny on the way. Not everyone you can send to Uzi Chow. But the granny you can. The laughing ladies though, can't send them. I don't want them there. Slap it. And I can't remember if it's killing Cleric Beast or Gas Coin, but Eileen is no longer where she was. So, we don't have to talk to her again. Or maybe she moves some other time. I can't remember. So what is it now? I much better ways to pass the time. In this... You found me a nice, safe place. Well, as you know, an outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go split some throats. Get this mess done with. Boy, aren't you grateful. Let me just check to make sure that Eileen is gone. Can't remember now. Maybe she moves after the next boss. Did you move yet, Eileen? No, you didn't. Next boss, then. What are you? St yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. I want to progress her quest because it gets me something useful. For a boss. It is always a good time to be pissed at the um. Look at what they did to art, music, the English language, a lot of things. They screwed everything up. Ah, oh, let's kill some black garbage bags while we're here. To hell with you. I know it dropped something, but I don't care. Laugh it up, loser. Let's go visit this little girl wearing the clothes of her dead dad.
I can't do this, little girl. Oh, okay. I can wait. But isn't there something I can do? Maybe Mom and Dad are stuck out there, waiting for me to come and find them. What do you think, Miss Hunter? I guess we could tell you to go to Uden Chapel. I mean, all you're doing is hanging out in the house, waiting for your lamp to die out so you can die to the, the beasts. It's yes, okay. Thank you, Miss Hunter. I love you almost as much as Mom and Dad. And Granddad. Thank you, Miss Hunter. I love you almost as much as... Uh, some people think that Granddad refers to another character in this game, not her actual Granddad. But hey. And, uh... Well, I guess she's not gonna need this red jewel brooch, huh? Guess I'll just take that for myself. Old hunter guy? Uh, no, not Garman. Uh, God, Hendrick, I think is his name? He's a character, you haven't seen him. And you won't, because you killed another boss. That means that, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's actually one more thing I want to do. Now that I ever think about it. We'll do that. After I come back here and put a gem in my thing. Can't I summon him? Hendrick, I don't think you can summon, although I don't know for sure. You can find him in-game, though. Uh, but this red blood gem, you see on the right there those three squares with the symbols. Those symbols tell you what kind of gems you can put in each slot, so you can use a starburst gem in that slot, in the second slot, and you triangle one for the third slot. This red blood gem, however, fits in any slot. And it'll be useful to us. Well, let's go see if I can do the thing that I want to do. Low times used to be worse, if you can believe it. Lo uh, loading into Central Yarnum could have taken upwards of a minute. If you were on. It was real bad. Thank God for patches, though. You guys have your fun. I'll be over here. Free echoes are always nice. Oh, hey, it dropped another thing. That's weird. Huh, I didn't drop that the first time. What's that? I don't know what that is. Red ribbon that messengers are oddly fond of. A thick, pungent red was drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim. A strange choice indeed, but perhaps for the messengers wearing this accessory constitutes a form of mourning. Hmm. Okay, now let's see. I want to go this way. I have something to check on. The bridge is out. I should probably tell the little girl that before she tries anything silly. Like coming down to these aqueducts.
And after I'm done warning her, I'll call it a stream. I'm sure you can guess what happened. That'll about do it for a stream, though. So, uh, thanks for watching this uh, first session of Bloodborne. I'm just gonna go rest at the dream. She left already? Yep. Is she dead? I mean, I found that weird ribbon. Kind of looked like a ribbon a little girl would wear. I wonder if I can give my messengers that hat. I can give them the ribbon, though. Look at that. They look so cute. Do 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 do. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all next time. In uh, another place. Bye!